What's going on guys? Welcome back to the second installment of the Get Short series. Oh yeah, get short. Definitely get short. All right, so today we got a couple of things on the docket. We're still kind of prepping for Wyoming, kind of the same as last time. Um, we do have a big shipment of cottons coming in, so we should be restocked on all of the colors of the wax cotton starting today. So if you're in the market for a wax cotton, check the website. Come on. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, second thing, uh, our buddy Sean Mayfield is coming in. He's got to drop a saddle off for Cody Harris, um, and I think he's going to do some rope shopping, um, kind of look at some ropes and stuff. And then Cody's coming over to work dogs with Dad. So we're kind of just, you know, still getting getting everything legged up, but we got some folks coming over. We're restocking some ropes and figured we'd bring you all along. So Cody and them, I think... If I'm not mistaken, we'll ask him. They might be leaving next week to take their first load to Wyoming. So we'll catch up with Cody, kind of visit with him, see everything he's got going on, how many horses they got, uh, what their dog situation looks like as far as um, for the summer goes, and kind of get y'all integrated into what they got going on. Uh, they're going to kind of shoot the same style of video this summer as we are. Um, and it's all going to be edited together. So half and half and 310 will both be in the Get Short series. And so today we're going to catch up with Cody and see what he's got coming on. So anyways, we'll see y'all at the rope shop. Where's everybody at? Hey, did you see the reel I made of you today? So good. I loved it. What you eating? Champion's choice. Carrots, almonds, smoke flavored. Mmm. Dry. Okay. Tuna. <laughs> With sriracha on it. Hey, what you eating? I have some oh. zesty salmon hey. and some kiwa. Some what? Kiwa. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Is it quinoa? <laughs> I don't know. Is, it Is it really quinoa? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't either. We will Google it yeah. before we send it to the but, masses. But Actually, a, we'll just put this up and then y'all can tell us. It's a little bland, but you mix it with something and it's all right. Some fish or black beans, you're good to go. This is healthy. Yeah, it uh, healthy cowboy food. Yeah. We're easy keepers. It, it tastes <laughs> healthy. That's what. Rabbit, rabbit food. Yeah. yeah. Shark food, squirrel food. Um, All lean. Creatures. Where the freaking meat is? Well, I guess tuna's meat. But... Yeah. It's wrong color though. When you get old, you gotta it's make healthy choices. Me and I shared. Come on, start that over. You gotta wait for the beats, man. All right, here we go. What do y'all share in common? Here's one thing that Abby and I share in common. It's the beauty of the horn knot. Mmm. Mmm. These and those. Those. The hands. The hands. The hands, Abby. Read gestures, okay? The only ones that can tie them around here. That's true. It's okay. Abby, do you tie off? No. Somebody on YouTube commented and asked how um, cotton was bred. So, you want to answer that for him? Yeah, he's bred out of uh, Newt and Lily. So, it'd be Diamond J, Newt, and Gainer, Lily. Sweet. Do you have any... Other dogs out of that cross? Yeah, Hopper.
What up? Tori's here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Trying to hide out. Just so y'all know, Tori and Emily are... They're like horses that need to be desensitized to something. The camera, they freak out. They're just weird about it. It's so funny. Anyway, it is awkward at first. So just bear with me and Cody here. So like I told you on the truck, Cody came. He's going to work a couple of dogs. Um, so Cody, when are y'all leaving for the YO? Um, we're probably got one load we're going to probably take up probably here in another week or so. And then... Our plan is probably by the 15th, we'll be in Wyoming and getting ready to rock and roll. Like all the way? Yep. Okay, when are, when's the cattle coming? The cattle will be coming around the first part of May. Okay. End of April, first of May, just kind of depends on weather and what our pastures are looking like. Sweet. So kind of the idea is that we're just gonna kind of bring you along while we do what we do and then try to keep you up to date on all the developments with the horses. You know, how they're doing, what they're getting to do showing you the footage of them and then kind of what we got going on so with that being said cody what are y'all looking like horsepower wise going into the summer looks like headed up there we're gonna have about 10 head of horses that we're gonna have um they're all at various levels we got some that have been there and done it a bunch done it all their lives and then we got some stuff that's just a little bit greener that hasn't done it as much and so yeah when we spent most of winter winter in the arena we spent most of the wiener in the winter in the arena. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so we've spent... <laughs> I was good. I was going to roll with it until I seen her face. That's awesome. So, but we spent... Some of the horses spent last summer up there, and then we spent the winter on them in the arena. Um, so everything that we have now spent a bunch of time in the arena, and now we're going to go back to, the, to work with them and see where they're at now sweet so dog wise what are we looking like there so we're gonna have probably eight dogs we're going with um some that are very seasoned that have just done it a ton we've had them for a lot of years and then um, we've got some that this will be their first summer out and then some that are new dogs to us that have done some stuff so we don't know exactly where they're at yet so sweet and yeah. we got puppies yeah. <laughs> and we got more coming <laughs> yeah buddy <laughs> So just like, Bart. you know, the name entails half and half livestock, that includes the dogs too. So if y'all are hunting a dog, um, reach out half and half on Facebook and um, you can just inquire on what they got, you know. Y'all know how it is. If you call and they know you got a need, then they can probably hook you up. So just keep them in mind as far as dogs go as well. Cody and Tori are busy people. Well, they do answer the phone <laughs> and return messages, but they are busy individuals. <laughs> so, anyways, Cody's gonna work some dogs. Bring them. So Bart is an older male that I have that actually came from Bart Morgan in Arizona, and I've had him for I think four years now and he's been super fun dog and we've got a litter of pups on the ground by him down and out of a border collie female down 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 right down left down left 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 down right down 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 Huey, you're doing it wrong. So Huey's a newer pup, hasn't been exposed to much, and still is not firing yet. So, but I think this is the third time he's been on Seattle. So it's just kind of a little bit of a process sometimes. 
Walk up, walk up, down, down, walk up, down, walk up, down. All right, the cottons are here. Christmas came early. We'll have the link in the description. You can check out all the colors that came in. I think we got 19 boxes on here. Let's go. Abby, what? guess what's here? What? Guess. Cottons. The cottons. The cottons are here. Okay, so we're a little short on mics. So I have a Jules here. I don't know if I've really like formally introduced Jules, but Jules works with us at 310. Jet is her dog. So we're gonna kind of talk about her dog and where she got him from and what we got going on here. I got Jet from a guy in Idaho. Had him shipped here in September. He's about eight months old. Um, I got him to help us out in Wyoming when we head out there and next month actually you're coming up quick so this is his third day really officially on cows and he's doing really good i'm really happy he's turned on he he was really skittish and afraid of him because he's still really young but when we first started him out he was very standoffish and didn't want to even look at the cow so i'm very impressed with him i'm really happy just happy that he's starting to earn his keep I have three jobs. Um, I train horses, I build saddles, and I pastor a church. So, um, But I came over today to, to bring a, a saddle to Cody and to uh, look, try to get some ropes bought. So. Sweet. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. Let's tell him to go and off he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sage. Yeah. Here. Sage, did you build this thing? No. <laughs> no. Not yet? No. I helped so. That's awesome. That's it. You want some pictures of it? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll throw it on the truck. Do it up, right? Yeah. Cool. So, isn't that, is, is that that's your custom horn deal? Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me about that. Well, um, a friend of mine, Mike Keach, developed this little metal horn that uh, him and Glenn Christman in Canada they worked together and developed this little metal horn that functioned like a post horn but a smaller diameter and it works really well for people that want to kind of be able to go brand and have a slick horn that has a lot of taper to it um, and then if they want to go team rope with it that weekend they can throw some rubber on it and go rope mm -hmm. um, 
the foundry that was building those horns shut down and so those horns have been extremely hard to get and I've built how many saddles and I still have a pile of saddles ordered with that horn and lucky for me I went ahead and ordered the trees with those horns last year <laughs> um, but um, now we're getting into where those horns aren't really available um, there is a foundry that has the cast plates to them but I'm being told that they're not building a whole lot of them and so they're still not very uh, readily available so I was like you know what I'm just gonna try to do something on my own um, I'm actually working on a deal maybe getting them cast myself because right now I'm just taking a horn um, and and molding it myself with epoxy mm -hmm. and uh, and then sending the horns to the tree makers um, but it's something I, I wanted to kind of keep that going but I wanted to change the horn a little bit so it wasn't exactly like a keech I've made it a little bit taller I've got a little bit more of a pitch to the horn caps because the keeches are a little flatter mm -hmm. um, but uh, those keech horns turn into a hot item and I'm really good friends with Mike Keech that developed it and uh, and uh, think the horn's a pretty neat deal but uh, I wanted to be able to go on with that style of horn because I've been Kind of my niche is I've been reaching a lot of guys that work on ranches and, and, and are riding horses every day, but they also do arena stuff, whether they're showing cow horses or whether they're team roping or things like that. Um, I wanted to still be able to market that and still be able to, to reach those guys and build something that they can use in multi-purpose. So that was the whole whole idea behind doing that and why I kind of went on with trying to develop my own deal. That's awesome. I don't know, I'm following you. <laughs> it's comfortable. Yeah. Of course it was my saddle. God you see, bet, it's God your see. saddle. How's she feel? Oh, I feel so good. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right here. Cheat. Not so much here, but here. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be a big cheat man or a little cheat? I don't man? know. What do you think? <laughs> little, little, little cheat.